What does it take to be a champion? It takes grit. It takes resilience. It takes a commitment to exercise, nutrition, and wellness. But most of all, it takes heart. Tonight, Portland Timbers and Thorns players will reveal how to build the heart of a champion. And you'll learn how Providence Heart Institute is helping families across our community cultivate winning, heart-healthy lifestyles for their own home teams. Stick around for an evening of fun, fitness, and fundraising, all in support of Providence. Presented in partnership with the Portland Timbers and Portland Thorns FC, welcome to Live from Providence Park. Good evening, and thank you all so much for joining us live from Providence Park, along with my Timbers broadcast colleague, Nat Porchers. I'm Jake Zivin. We thank you so much for joining us for what we hope will be a really fantastic and fun, and most importantly, impactful evening, all in support of the Providence Heart Institute. Nat, I'm looking forward to tonight. I can't wait. I mean, it's so uh, awesome just to be a part of something like this. Yeah, the COVID-19 has changed things, right? It's changed the fact that fans can't be here at Providence Park to cheer on the Timbers and to cheer on the Thorns. The past couple of years, the field has been packed with 500 people for the Providence Black and White Ball, which has been uh, such an important and impactful event, all in support of the Providence Heart Institute. I was able to serve as the MC the past few years, and it was always so great and fun to see everybody in their black and white attire gathered to help advance cardiac research and care at Providence Park. We can't do that, of course, during a pandemic. So instead, we're going to bring that experience to you tonight. Yeah, that's right. We're going to hear from Portland Timbers and Thorns players who are going to be talking about how to stay healthy and fit as professional athletes. Uh, we're also going to hear from the staff that support them, uh, not just the exercise uh, part of that, but also nutrition and the wellness factor. But most importantly, uh, we're gonna uh, we're not gonna we're not all professional athletes, of course, but uh, we can make healthy choices uh, as it relates to ourselves and our families. And so the fact that this stadium is called Providence Park, right, the place where elite professional athletes play in front of huge crowds, it's really appropriate because Providence is all about helping people be their best, be their most fit and be their most well. And the Providence Heart Institute specifically does that in, in a prevention program and helping people stay healthy and live their healthiest, healthiest lives. And tonight, this program is gonna help them do more towards their goal of making our community healthy and specifically preventing heart disease before uh, it even starts. You can help us and you can help Providence Heart Institute do that. There are three ways that you can do that tonight. You can bid, you can buy, and you can give. Yeah, there's an online auction, raffle prizes, limited edition scarves, plus the opportunity to make a donation to support the Providence Heart Institute. You can check out both the auction items and the raffle prizes you can enter to win. You could also win seats in Tanner Ridge for a Timbers or Thorns game in the 2021 season with VIP treatment. And we'll talk more about that, uh, those pieces later, uh, but you can visit providencefoundations.org forward slash live right now to check it out, or you can text HEART to 47177 to get in the action. Man, there's great prizes in the raffle, there's great uh, items up for bid in the auction, and there's really good ways for you to help and, and contribute to a really good cause. And let's tell you a little bit about that cause right now. We're going to hear from Portland Timbers and Portland Thorns players as the night goes on. But first, we want to introduce you to all the good work that the Providence Heart Institute is doing. Solutions to this uh, issue of cardiovascular disease are going to come from programs uh, like ours. We're going to have to show the rest of the country how you organize to deliver high value cardiac care.
can not only discover the new knowledge, we can then translate that new knowledge to the bedside quickly. We can publish that data in scientific journals that will hopefully influence the practice of medicine, not just locally, but around the country. We really do have that opportunity. What if the most direct path toward helping yourself was helping other people achieve their goals? What if we all joined a team and healed ourselves together? So we created a team. You all tonight can help the Providence Health Institute achieve their goals. Throughout the night, we're going to have a couple uh, tips, so to speak, for you guys, so you and your families can achieve wellness and live healthier lives. We're going to call them our fit focus moments. And our first one of the night is about eating better and, and nutrition. You can balance your plate to improve your nutrition. Fill half your plate with fresh fruits and vegetables while balancing the rest with whole grains and lean protein. You want to avoid processed foods and instead look for whole, fresh options. If you're looking for a healthy snack, you can try pairing two of these categories together and you can be fit-focused. Uh, we'll see more of these fit-focused moments as the night goes on. Some more tips for you throughout. Uh, and speaking of fit, fit, that's what we are supporting tonight. Proceeds from tonight's broadcast are going to support the Providence Fit Project, which offers family lifestyle training programs to help families become their healthiest through a community approach. These programs are free for all families thanks to donations. It's helpful to work together as a family to make these changes. And look, sometimes it's hard to know where to begin. Uh, the Fit Project helps families get started and build habits that will last. All of this work is in service to Providence's efforts to keep people healthier rather than just treat people once they get sick. In the FIT Project, families focus on nutrition, exercise, and wellness. These areas are important to all of us. You can imagine how important they are to professional athletes. We're going to hear from Timbers and Thorns players about how they approach each of these areas as athletes, and we'll learn tips from them that we can apply to our own lives as non-professional athletes. Don't forget to join in the action online at providencefoundation.org slash live, where you can bid, you can buy, or you can give. And one of the things that you can uh, do to help is you can buy a limited edition scarf that you see right here. $39. You can help us stay a scarf apart. We got to get this right. There we go. Uh, appropriate for the time that we're in right now. All the proceeds from this limited edition scarf are going to go to the Providence Health uh, Heart Institute and the FIT Project specifically. Uh, but that's not all uh, that you can do tonight to help give. Uh, again, it's bid, it's buy, and it's give at providencefoundations.org slash live. There's also a raffle, and there are three uh, awesome, Nat, awesome uh, experiences that you can win in this raffle. Yeah, and this is a cool scarf. Um, you got to please, please make sure you stay a scarf apart uh, so we can all get back to sports and events the way they were meant to be enjoyed, which is in person. And don't forget to wear a mask when you can't be a scarf apart. And if you buy the raffle ticket, you could win a Thorns VIP experience, a Timbers VIP, VIP experience, Alaska Airlines tickets for two to anywhere Alaska flies, like anywhere, Costa Rica, Hawaii. You can go to Medford with it if you want, but a really, really cool, uh, cool uh, possibility to win in the raffle tonight. Tonight's broadcast is also presented uh, in partnership with the Portland Timbers and Portland Thorns FC, uh, some of the number of sponsors that have stuck with us in spite of everything this year. We want to thank our platinum sponsor, the David Heller Foundation, and our green partner sponsors, Leg Metals, Fox 12 Oregon, and Greenbrier Companies. Thank you to all of our sponsors who have made tonight possible.
something that's so important in the roles of professional athletes and the roles of us non-professional athletes is nutrition. Timbers defender Jorge Villafania, Thorns defender Megan Klingenberg, and the team chefs Rich Meyer and Anthony Giacchico show us how nutrition plays a role in the lives of the Timbers and the Thorns. This present moment is so special. We all know how hard we had to work to get here. Thorns on three, one, two, three, thorns! When you're an athlete, you always try and figure out how to be the best that you can possibly be, and nutrition is a huge piece of that. I like to cook because when I was growing up, my family used food as a way to connect. So food equals love and relationships. If you're making great food for yourself, you're loving yourself and you're caring for yourself. So it's really important for me to make sure that I'm cooking good meals for me because that's like literally giving myself a hug. <laughs> We're always trying to run faster and harder and longer. We're trying to kick more accurately, score goals, technically get stronger in the gym, right? And when you take the accumulation of all those small gains, then you become elite. For Fiafania, this is some ball from him. Growing up and uh, starting playing my career as a professional player, uh, I noticed that nutrition was a key. When you're young and you feel you feel like uh, nothing's like nothing's gonna hurt you, but then as you start uh, becoming professional and you start playing more, taking care of your body, eating the right stuff, uh, doing the the most the most you can to have your body 100%, I think is is the key and is uh, the key success that has given me uh, until now a, a long career. These guys get fed quite a bit of fruit on a daily basis. My philosophy on food is I try to prepare the best ingredients that I could possibly get. When you have five, six, seven, eight different guys at a table, all from different countries, that one meal that, you, that you're all eating together can bring smiles to everybody's face and can bring conversation to everybody. We go out of our way to buy from small farmers, small producers of fish, meat, things like that. Getting produce from a local farm, which is 20 miles away, is so much fresher and getting that from a local supermarket here in town. Being a professional athlete, it's extremely important for them to have enough energy and to have enough electrolytes. Before a game, I try to give the guys simple carbohydrates, something that'll be digested quickly and won't upset their stomachs. I'll help them do diet logs, or the easiest way I've found is I get them to take pictures of the food they eat throughout a whole day so I can kind of get an idea. And then from there, I can tell them a number and I can tell them how to tweak things, where to add something or subtract something make sure they're getting enough protein. I always say that soccer is a 24-hour job, seven days a week, because even when you're going home, if you're making bad decisions about your nutrition and you're eating, those bad choices eventually turn into bad performances after bad performance, and then it's like hurtful to you in your career. So for me, I try and make sure that I eat great 85% of the time, and then the other 15% I eat things that make me happy. During the off-season on nutrition, uh... I do give myself a little bit of a break. I think uh, it's really important. Growing up, I, I lived in Mexico. I think I, I miss their cooking. So every time I go, I just ask them to cook something special for me. And, and because uh, I just go for a week or two weeks, they're, they're always cooking the, the good stuff. You have to keep in mind that food is culture, no matter what. So these guys come from all different areas. So part of my job is just kind of getting an understanding of where they're coming from, what they eat. And once I understand what they like to eat, I can then tweak it to maybe decrease like the fat content of it or increase fiber, increase protein. As a vegan, I'm always eating vegetables and things like that. So I need to really focus on making sure that I'm getting all of my proteins and different types of carbs and different types of nutrients. If I'm eating the nuts and the popcorn and the fruits and veggies that I like to put in my body, then I feel energized all day. I would rather feel more energized and feel good than have food that's convenient. I want to play soccer as long as I can. It brings me a lot of joy and it's my purpose. So I feel better and feel like I recover faster with this diet. On game days, I like pasta with chicken or if it's not pasta, it's rice with chicken. I just, that's what works for me. Chip Rich, I think he's great. His food is amazing. Every, every other day is something different, something new. So you're not always eating the same. Everything's delicious and, and, and healthy. That is the most important thing. 
we always have a humongous platter of fruit, very important for those guys on a daily basis. Multiple different vegetables we always serve, usually two different starches, two different proteins. A lot of the players do appreciate to have a little bit of a sweet thing. You know, after a game, we'll always do a platter of chocolate chip cookies. You know, Diego Chara is a big fan of the chocolate chip cookie, as everyone who knows the Timbers knows that, I believe. That makes it kind of fun to do certain things that they know, that maybe they remember as a kid growing up, things like that. I love this profession because I get to combine my love with food with people who are trying to perform at their very best and constantly be better and better. So I get to solve a Rubik's Cube with a different athlete every single day. Always staying in shape and trying to take care of your body, it goes a long way. It's all going towards my purpose and my joy. When you find your purpose, you have to have the grit to pursue it. And there's so much satisfaction in finding your personal excellence and your personal best because there are relatively few people in the world that are ever able to get to that point. I'm, I'm hungry now, man, that, that looked great. Uh, I'm now joined by Dr. Jamie Beckerman, who's the medical director for Base Camp, which is the Prevention and Wellness Center at the Providence Heart Institute. Dr. Beckerman, good to see you. Great to be with you guys. Uh, during the past seven months, one thing that's really hit home is that our behaviors matter and they impact our risk, whether it means washing your hands or wearing a mask or staying a scarf apart. And when it comes to heart disease, it's actually not that different. It turns out that roughly 80% of your risk for heart disease comes down to what you do, how you eat, how you move, how you live. And so our goal is to try to work with people, to work with the community, to take advantage of what we call this 80% opportunity. Jamie, we've talked a little bit about the FIT Project tonight, but haven't quite gotten into it. Tell us a little bit about what the FIT Project is. Yeah, so the FIT Project, FIT stands for Families in Training. And so one thing that's kind of different uh, about professional athletes from the rest of us is that they have coaches and experts and a whole team of people that are getting behind them to help them achieve their goals. And so we decided that we would change that and make that accessible to everyone. So the FIT, FIT Project is a six month family lifestyle intervention in which we bring together a community of families and give them the tools, give them the support, give them the coaches so that they can achieve their goals and become their best and healthiest selves. Let's take a closer look right now at the FIT Project. The FIT Project is a lifestyle intervention for families looking at creating their best wellness within their family. Nutrition, fitness, and wellness are our three main focuses. It's not a weight loss program. It's not somewhere where families come to diet. It's workouts, it's health coaching, really helping families create the mindset so that living a healthy lifestyle becomes part of life. And it's free for all families, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. As a certified coach with the FIT Project, my work with families is really to work on whole wellness or complete wellness and trying to help develop a wellness plan that's aligned with their dreams for a future as a family and then create some goals and accountability for moving in that direction. We're trying to break down the barriers and make wellness approachable. With a lot of these families, we're really focusing on getting back to basics. We talk a lot about hunger and fullness and mindful eating, and I find that that's often more successful with our families, especially with young kids who we want to really lay the foundation for these good habits for a lifetime so that later in life they can know what does a regular meal look like and what should be on the table. A lot of families have realized it's a way to bond, it's a way to have fun together. So instead of just having movie night, you're taking it outside to a park and you're playing frisbee or you're running an obstacle course, but it's just a good way to spend quality time. There is a lot more accountability when we're doing it as a family and there's a lot of accountability, interestingly enough, that comes from our kids and there's this real intersection of empowerment for both and then they can then grow this path of wellness together. 
We spend millions of dollars on either treating or curing cancer, diabetes, heart disease, all of which we know are related to nutrition in some way. And supporting something like the FIT Project is starting at the very beginning rather than paying to treat or cure a disease later. I believe very seriously in the impact that we can have on families and family wellness in general and really change the trajectory for families long term when we start to focus on them and start to let them be the experts in their own lives. I would love to see the FIT Project continue to grow for us to be able to reach more families in all different locations. We really want to help provide people the skills, the confidence, and the knowledge so that whatever they're learning during the six-month program, they can continue to do on their own. I personally think that every family could benefit from the FIT Project. We have awesome stories of families who go from a level of inactivity to running 5Ks, and that's a huge success for them. We're growing people's confidence and creating their own wellness and owning their own wellness, and I love that. Dr. Beckerman, we heard earlier from Hori Viafani and Megan Klingenberg about nutrition and, and look, everything that they do off the field, every minute they have to be paying attention to all of these things. It seems like kind of that ties in with the FIT Project and what the FIT Project is teaching uh, families to, to do. That's right, and we want as many families who want to get involved to become involved. And so if you feel that your family could benefit from a program like this, if you have school-aged kids and think, you know, we want to make some changes around nutrition and exercise and wellness, we want you to be a part of it. So if people want to check out thefitproject.org or even just talk to your primary care provider about whether this might be a good program for your family, we want to sign you up and get you ready to go. This program, like the other programs at the Center for Wellness and Prevention, they're funded by donations, right? It, they are. And we believe strongly that if you invest in your community, then that return on investment uh, can be limitless. So what we're doing here is partnering with the community and hoping that if the community invests in opportunities like this, we can all ultimately become our best selves. That's the goal of all of this. And so we're really excited to work with so many different partners around Oregon to make this happen. It's such a wonderful program. The FIT Project tonight is benefiting it. Dr. Beckerman, we'll talk to you a little bit later on in this program. Good to see you. You guys, as I mentioned out there, can help us with bid, uh, buying, uh, with giving tonight. Text HEART to 4717 or go online now to providencefoundations.org slash live to bid, buy, or to give. And for just $25 a ticket, you can enter to win one of those three awesome raffle prizes that we showed you earlier, each designed to make you feel like a true VIP. You can enjoy a, a match from the new Tanner Ridge seating area for a Timbers or a Thorns game in the 2021 season. And you'll get early access to the park, complimentary food and beverage, and more. You'll also take home a signed Timbers or a Thorn jersey. Or again, if you're looking to book your next trip, you can win two vouchers for anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. Get your tickets now. Again, text HEART to 47177 uh, to give or go to providencefoundations.org slash live. While you all do that, while you all bid and buy and give, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. We are proud to partner with the Portland Timbers and Portland Thorns FC for tonight's broadcast. Since 2014, we have worked together to support prevention and wellness programs, advance sport for youth in our communities, save lives through AED donations, and more. Special thanks to Timbers President of Business, Mike Golub, who currently serves as a member of the Providence St. Vincent Medical Foundation Council of Trustees. You are helping build the future of heart health, and we are grateful. Did you know that rates of high blood pressure among youth and young adults is rapidly rising in Oregon? Your donation today means you will join the Greenbrier companies in a special community of supporters who power prevention and wellness programs. The Greenbrier Companies is a leading supplier of marine and freight rail transportation equipment and services, powering the movement of products around the world. Thank you, Greenbrier, for supporting Providence since 1994. Special thanks to President and Chief Operating Officer, Lori Tecorias, 
who currently serves as Vice Chair of the Council of Trustees at Providence St. Vincent Medical Foundation, and Jack Isselman, who serves on the Black and White Ball Planning Committee. Your support is helping us build the future of heart health. Thank you. It's now time for our second fit focus moment of the evening, exercise. It's a key component of improving both our physical and mental health. So get out there and get active, but be sure to stay safe. Choose comfortable clothes, comfortable shoes that fit well, drink plenty of water and listen to your body. And don't forget, rest is important too. Be fit focused. Nat, you've always been known, I know even when you played, right, as one of the fittest guys. Yeah, I mean, I always felt it was important to be fit, uh, even as a defender. I wasn't doing a whole lot back there sometimes. You always got to be fit, especially for those preseasons, right? They're always grueling. Yeah, speaking of fit professional athletes, fit soccer players, Timbers defender Marco Farfan and Thorns midfielder Rocky Rodriguez showed us how they use exercise to do their jobs and specifically how they were able to stay fit during the pandemic. I always say that exercising is a blessing. Rodriguez cuts this across! Portland scores! Rocky Rodriguez does all the magic. The role that exercise has had in my life is one that has brought friends in my life. It's brought discipline, it's brought motivation, a lot of life lessons. It's the best way to be grateful with our bodies for how capable they are of doing everything they do. Marco Farfan. Looking for more up. Exercise plays a huge role in how we play or how we're able to perform out on the field. This shot was blocked. Marco Farfan! There's tactics, there's things that you want to do soccer-wise, but you also have to think about the exercise. And what I mean by exercise is the way you move, your agility, the way you're able to, to perform, and the way you recover, and the way you're able to do things in the gym. I grew up playing team sports, and I've always loved being a part of the team in the process. Crossover and run, he's got to do the same. Come back, shuffling. Kind of refer to ourselves as the team behind the team. We all have to work collectively for one purpose, which is to keep our players healthy and on the field so they can play games and win games. When I came into Portland, that very first day was the first day that we started quarantine. One of the things that I really appreciate about the Thorns was that the staff did an amazing job of providing anything that we needed, whether it was equipment um, to keep in the house, and of course the training plans, you know, and, if, and they would adjust that in order for us to be able to do that within our homes. Hey y'all, Bailey Torres here, assistant athletic trainer for your Portland Thorns. I'm gonna sit back on my heel, getting a real good adductor stretch here, and then I'm gonna take this hand and thread the needle through to get that T-spine involved. We tried to really sit down and think of like, what are the physical qualities that we can really attack, like knowing that they're limited space, you know, 10 meters, okay, so they can still do some cutting and some change of directions, but you're still getting a little bit of stress through the lower part of the body that is gonna, you know, make sure that you're ready for soccer once you get back out here. My focus really shifted from playing soccer, from just having fun to, you know, really wanting to push to be a pro probably when I joined the academy. Really having the emphasis of being able to recover for the body and do exercises to help the body perform on the field. So I think that's where it really shifted my focus of it's not just fun, you know, obviously it's so fun, but really focus on the way you treat your body and the exercises to help you on the field. I'm someone who believes that you have to go through the process and digest the process in order to create and build character and you're only cheating yourself when you cut corners. That's gonna be evident in performance day. Although sometimes it's not pleasant, but I need to do it in order to enjoy game day and be able to compete. Some of the days in the seasons are, are 10 months, like grueling, you're grinding out every single day and it, it has its wear and tear on you physically and emotionally, but at the end of the day when you have those moments and it, it all pays for itself. Going to the, the cup, in Florida, for instance. I mean, it was a long, grueling 41 days, but we came back with the cup, and it was like those moments are unforgettable. Like, I'll cherish those forever. You know, there's always gonna be obstacles during during difficult times, but 
You know, the most important thing is to always remember why you're doing it. I'm, I'm out here doing it because I, I love playing soccer. I have fun playing soccer. My family loves soccer, so, you know, I think it's a family thing. So I think that just, that's what keeps me motivated and try to set an example for my nephew as well. We always have a choice and we always can decide what we want for our life. And that's also a blessing, and that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be hard. I'm telling everybody, <laughs> it's going to be hard to be a winner, you know, because we're going to have obstacles. Rocky Rodriguez, are you kidding me? This 100% has to be goal of the week. But enjoying the very process and believing in ourselves, daring to, to go out there for your dreams, it's worth it. Nat, when you were playing, like, like Rocky and Marco, you had to be 90 minutes fit. You don't anymore. It's been a few years. You're a regular person just like us. So what's your exercise routine like now? Well, when you don't have a coach telling you what to do and it's not a, your, your job isn't to work out, you know, you have to stay fit. You have to stay uh, active. And so for me, I'm always just trying to do one or two things a day just to stay active, whether it's just a little bit of cardio or some strength, but just something to keep my, my heart moving. We've talked a lot about families, right? The Fit Project is focused on families. You have a family of your own, a couple little ones, Lincoln and Denley, and I know you start them early on their fitness and their exercise. What do you guys do as a guru? Stay fit. I think it's the best part of our day and, and just things that we do together uh, to keep ourselves active, whether it's biking together, whether we're going on walks, there's a creek near our house where we're just skipping stones, uh, but definitely playing soccer in the backyard uh, with, with, uh, with Lincoln and Denley. That's the, the best part for sure. So just doing things to stay active. You know, 10, 10 years away for Lincoln from the Timbers, maybe a little more. Nine, 15, maybe eight. Nine, yeah, yeah, he's going to be homegrown. You know? and, and, and Denley, a little longer for Denley. We'll see them out here. Yeah, it'll, Timbers, be, it'll be soon. Timbers and Thorns. <laughs> well, speaking of families, we want to introduce you right now to the Gilliam family. They were a family that wanted to focus on fitness as a group but didn't know where to get started. Then they found the Fit Project. Take a look. I think both of us for quite a while had been saying we need to eat healthier. We need to start exercising. You know, we need to get healthier and just didn't know where to start, didn't you know have any motivation. You walk into a gym as someone who doesn't go there very often and there's equipment everywhere and it's all overwhelming and, and just trying to figure out what I should do, you know, it's just too confusing, there's too overwhelming. We were trying to find ways that we could incorporate healthier habits and physical fitness and eating better, but as a family. When we heard about the Fit Project, I went to the website and read all about it and was like, yes, we are doing this. <laughs> One of the nice things about the way the Fit Project was set up is it really teaches this whole fitness at multiple levels, nutrition, eating habits, exercise and wellness to the entire family. Our kids really loved going to the fitness center. Every week they'd ask us, what day are we going? When are we going? <laughs> and I think one of the big pieces that made it enjoyable for them was they were with a group their same age. The personal trainers there were really knowledgeable and to be able to have them break it down into some really set routines was extremely helpful. One of the things that we took away was that fitness doesn't have to be in a gym. It doesn't have to be with equipment. It can be just being outside and being active. Our project this summer was to make sure that everybody's bikes were up and running. We enjoy biking together as a family. It's a lot of fun. One of our sons has done paddle boarding, so we decided, well, let's rent paddle boards, and we found that we all like it. Initially, the aspect of being out in nature was a lot of fun, and then there's that fitness aspect to it, and so we've just enjoyed being able to meld those things together, especially as a family. In the nutrition classes, we did a lot of talking about variety in vegetables and fruits and all parts of our diet. So we had started being more mindful when we would go grocery shopping, buying produce that we 
maybe hadn't had before. And we put in a garden so that we could have fresh produce. All of the kids helped with watering and weeding and stuff like that. It was really fun to get the kids involved and decide what we're gonna plant and they're eating them more. For our family, our hope for the program was just to start building some basic foundation and helping our kids build that foundation. We really benefited from this program. The FIT Project put so much more on our radar. If we hadn't participated in the FIT Project, we would have just continued on with the same habits that we had. The FIT Project helped us find the motivation to make some of those small changes that we've been able to just incorporate into our day to day. Uh, the FIT Project, it really does such good things. Look, not everybody has, not every family has a father who's a former professional athlete like the Borchers do. <laughs> it can be intimidating to get going and the FIT Project really helps. Yeah, I just think it's great to be able to, to have a place to go where, where you can get ideas about how to be active as a family and just get that support that you need to, to get started and have a program, you know, to, to get yourselves going and, and be together while you're doing it. And the FIT Project relies on support from people like you, from donations. Tonight, it's about that. It's about supporting the FIT Project. You can donate by going to providencefoundations.org slash live or text heart to 47177 to bid, buy, or to give. Let's focus now a little bit on the bidding aspect of that, the auction items. There are some really cool packages up for bid tonight, Matt. Man, I, I think these are so such cool packages. I personally like the opportunity to, to pick a Timbers or a Thorns game to attend. You get the, the VIP treatment. You get to sit over in Tanner Ridge, which is the newest section of Providence Park, and really just get to enjoy a live soccer game in 2021. I think that's probably the one that's most exciting for me. And with that, a personal Zoom call this year with a Timbers or a Thorns player, uh, if you, ahead of, if you can't even wait for 2021 when you get to come here to the stadium, you'll be able to have a really cool personal experience with a Timbers or a Thorns player, depending on which package you win. And how about the Manzanita Luxury Home? This one's been up for bid at the Black and White Ball. Man, just luck. Ocean views, jacuzzi, indoor sims, a swim spa, a sauna, arcade theater, fireplaces, and more. What an awesome getaway on the coast. And that Multnomah Whiskey Library membership. You can't buy a membership. It's a two-year waiting list, but you can bid on one. You would get it immediately if you win that. The online auction is open now. Again, text HART 47177 or go to providencefoundations.org slash live. And that you've got, I think, something that's being added to that Timbers package. Yeah, it's a signed Timbers, a Portland Timbers ball signed by the entire team for this season. And I'm looking at a few uh, Diego oh. signatures right here. Diego Chara, Diego Valeri. Yeah. I think those are going to be very valuable uh, along with the rest of the team. So very, very cool. Oh, man. Awesome auction packages uh, up right now. And again, right now, bid, buy, or give. Text heart to 47177. Go to providencefoundations.org slash live. We're going to let you do that. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back live from Providence Park. The facts are alarming. One in five Oregonians dies of heart disease. Your donation today means you will join CalBag in a special community of supporters who power prevention and wellness programs. CalBag Metals works diligently to recycle metals for a better tomorrow. Thank you, CalBag Metals, for your support of Providence since 1995. Your investment in Providence Heart Institute gives us the ability to help our patients live their fullest, healthiest lives. Special thanks to Warren Rosenfeld, past chair of the Black and White Ball. Your support is helping us build the future of heart health. Thank you. Join Home Instead in Home Care in a community of supporters who power prevention and wellness programs at Providence. Home Instead in Home Care provides care at home for your aging loved ones. Thank you, Home Instead in Home Care, and thank you, Matt Preston, for your enthusiastic support of Providence Heart Institute. Well, I know one thing. I love my house. It's just home, and I love it. For over 25 years, Home Instead has helped seniors stay home. Now, staying home isn't just staying in the place they love. It's staying safe. It's essential. If your loved one needs in-home care, we're here to help. Home instead. To us, it's personal.
Our third Fit Focus moment of the evening involve the whole family in meal planning and in prep. Brainstorm the menu for the week and give everyone a role when it's time to cook. Children can help with easier tasks, such as washing produce and setting the table. By cooking together, your whole family can build healthy eating habits. Be fit focused. Look, that's something that hits home with me. My wife, Amanda, and I love to meal plan together. We love to cook together. It helps us not only, I think, stay healthy, but also become closer together. Yeah, I think it's the same for, for us, just uh, making sure you're getting on the same page with meal prep, meal planning. Uh, of course, you know, feeding our kids sometimes, they're very picky, uh, but figuring out what they're going to eat in terms of fruits and vegetables, uh, that's always exciting. And certainly just figuring out how you want the meals to look uh, during the week. Yeah, look, we've talked a lot about nutrition. We've talked a lot about exercise tonight. But neither of those on their own will help lead professional athletes to success without a commitment to wellness. Timbers goalkeeper Jeff Adanella and Thorns defender Emily Menges spoke about how a commitment to wellness has helped them, both who had to come back from pretty significant injuries. Penalty kicks coming. Timbers and Sounders. Western Conference semifinals. He steps up, he shoots, and he saved! Jeff Adanella down to his left, parries it away! The Timbers up three to one after three rounds. So much about being a goalkeeper is, you know, of course there's a the physical side, there's the mental side. So how do you take all that and combine it and make sure that you're feeling right everywhere? For me, it's always trying to find that balance. Great defensive play, stepping in from Emily Mangas, a rock in the back. Athletes' lives are so interesting in the sense that they are basically chalked up to 100% of success, 100% of failure. That's not very common for other professions. This ball just bending away from her. Now she gets it back. McDonald has it blocked by Mangus. Oh my, that looked to be a certain goal. And so I do think we've had to learn early on that big wins are amazing, but we also have to put that aside and know that there's still growth to be had. Wellness within the team is super important. Uh, my biggest goal as an athletic trainer is to keep the players available. All the Thorns players have the same end goal of winning an NWSL championship at the end of the season. So though that's everybody's end goal, they all have individual goals. And if they're not on the field, they don't achieve those goals. First aid, electrolytes. I mean, every day, just I love what I do. Every single part of it, it's hopefully influence positively to the, the people around me. The physical stresses and load is always there. And it's important part for me always to how we can control our psychological part to see the positive sides or kind of stay optimistic. With long-term injuries, you're going to face setbacks, and it's not a straight line from point A to point B. Just look when he dives. He's right arm out stretch. He's trying to keep the ball in play. You know, for me personally, I face so many setbacks on my path here, and I still face them daily. I still face them daily here. And this might be it for Jeff Adanella. Jeez, it doesn't look good, does it? Motionless with his right arm. And I think that it's important to remember you can learn so much from your setbacks. Take the things that you've learned, realize that everybody's path and everybody's journey is different, and really just try to embrace the process that you're going through. Jeff Attanella, his first game in over a year of a layoff after that shoulder surgery. Cutting him back for a legit save by Attanella. A certain injury takes a certain amount of time, which is inevitable that you can change. Um, a lot. However, we can control our psychological part to see the positive sides or kind of stay optimistic. For me personally, the most important thing is balance in my life. I am also a person who cannot be soccer, go, 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 24 hours a day. To get my best at soccer and when I'm actually focusing on soccer, I need to be able to shut off and do things that I enjoy other than soccer. It's so important for my mental health to go on a hike a week or go spend some time outside. It helps to kind of get away from everything and get away from the city and get away from people for a little and your phone and distraction. And when I'm done, I always feel like I'm a little bit more grounded and in control. 
So a specific thing that I do at home to be, you know, really intentional about my wellness with my family is, for me, I'm, I'm all about the mornings. You know, it just puts me in a good mood immediately. And, you know, I know that if I have a good morning with my kids, I can come in here and have a good day at work. And then I've helped my wife out and I've done a good job of being a good, good dad, <laughs> at least to start the day. <laughs> when COVID hit and my wife was nine months pregnant, it was an immediate shift to family is the most important thing. And, you know, it's also when you have a bad day on the soccer field and you get to go home to two kids that, you know, smile at you, regardless of if you let in a bad goal in practice or not. You know, it's just kind of that nice refresher that, you know, that's what's really important. I think the similarity between how the Thorns approach wellness and how the general population should approach wellness is just step by step, day by day, especially right now. We show up every day ready to do something. And I think the general population needs to also do that and take it step by step. Put a small goal out there, put an achievable target, and then try to get it. It could be the great opportunity or chances for anybody living right now in this world that to look back to yourself. And you know, within you, start from there to understanding, okay, how I feel, you know? Why am I feeling that way? Or what is happening with yourself? To understand to what do I need and what I need to do to start. And then hopefully you become more positive about yourself and continue to strive to get better and know that if you're taking care of yourself, if you're doing the right things on and off the field, if you're checking in with yourself mentally, if you're taking care of your body, just believe in, believe in the hard work and believe in the things that you're doing. And ultimately, right, the process will get you there. I'm joined again by Dr. Jamie Beckerman, the medical director of Base Camp, the Center for Prevention and Wellness at the Providence Heart Institute. Jamie, what resonated for you listening to Jeff and Emily talk about wellness that we can take away and apply to our own wellness? Well, e Emily used that word balance, and I honestly think that's everything. Uh, when I think of the past uh, seven months of uh, staying home, staying safe, uh, the things that give me balance, my family, you know, taking our, our dog Boji for a walk down the street, watching a movie with our boys, I think you can't underestimate the importance of slowing down uh, to kind of bring things into focus and make you realize what's important as you move forward. How does the FIT Project help families approach achieving wellness? Well, it's all about the coaching, right? I mean, we've heard from all these incredible athletes and in realizing that they don't do it on their own. Uh, they have a team that supports them. And so it only makes sense that you and your family should deserve a team that can support you. And we do that by focusing on nutrition, on exercise, on your family as your community, and also your relationships to the other families around you that make up your broader community. Let's meet another family uh, for whom the FIT Project helped them slow down and, and help their own wellness. Here's the Wild family. In the past, we've tried to do exercise, just me and her, and she says that I'm nagging her, or I'll say that she's <laughs> nagging me. And it's it, not a bonding experience. It's not a bonding experience. It was really... <laughs> stressful. Stressful, yes. <laughs> what attracted us to the FIT Project was the really unique possibility of having the kids join us in our exercise. It was all about families coming together and fun family experience and that was definitely appealing. My kids, they enjoyed it. I think all three of them are social exercisers. They got there, they worked out, they had fun. Turns yeah. out movement makes people happy. <laughs> the Fit Project also concentrated on food. Every week there was a different focus on eating habits or substitutions that you could make in your diet. We met with a nutritionist two times and she asked me how I cook and we troubleshooted and she helped me get a little bit more creative on presenting things to kids and it worked really well. Back in January, I wanted us both to look like supermodels with perfectly healthy 
active children afterwards and that we'd be frolicking in the forest together. The counselor that calls you every week, she very strategically kind of led you to more realistic goals and ones that would last. So it turned out really great. By the end of the process, our goals were more like connection and slowing down enjoying the moments with our family, enjoying our food, enjoying exercise. We kind of got to know ourselves a little bit better. We learned that we really value family connection and that we can build food and exercise into that family connection. So instead of the goal being we want to look like supermodels to other people, it was we want to feel connected to each other, we want to be present, and how health fits into that. The FIT project allows you to do some introspection and to figure out what works and what doesn't. The FIT project is available to all families. There are certainly some families in the community that can afford to hire a therapist and a nutritionist and a coach to get them to a place of wellness. But the FIT project invited all people of all socioeconomic places. They all fit well into the project and they all were able to find something to benefit from. We were all working together. It was like a little community building each other up. They start out with, do you have a desire? Is there something in your life that isn't working right now health-wise? And so the families that are coming to the project already recognize that there's a need for it. And I think that's really powerful. We're trying to establish good habits in food and exercise and relationships, and all of that was incorporated into the FIT project. If you do want to make a change in your life, the FIT project is a great way to go, especially as a family. And as you build up family by family, the structure or the foundation of a good, healthy, happy lifestyle, you can then spread that. And so a small investment up front makes a great impact across the community. Something that resonated with me was listening to Karen Wilde talk about how the, the programs and the resources that are provided by the FIT Project could individually on their own outside of the FIT Project be very costly. Jamie, what's your vision for the FIT Project for the future? Well, we believe that health is a human right. And so that means that the core values of this program are equity, inclusion, and accessibility. So if we're gonna follow through on that, this program needs to grow. It needs to expand so that we can serve more families, so that we can give back more to our communities and uh, make us all better in the process. So growth is such an essential part of a program like this because we wanna reach as many people as possible and give them the opportunity to be their best selves, which is honestly what every single person and every single family deserves. If a family is watching this right now and they're thinking, this could be really helpful for us, we would love to take advantage of these resources. How do they do that? How do they become part of the FIT Project? Yeah, it's as easy as uh, going on the internet to check out the fitproject.org. You can learn a little bit more about the program. And we actually have multiple programs that we offer. So I encourage everybody to check that out. Uh, if you're at a, at a doctor's appointment and you want to talk to your doctor about the project and whether it could work well for you. So just know that this is there for you and it's free. And so if you think that your family could benefit from it, now's the time. Uh, please don't wait and get involved and uh, learn something and grow. Something I want to stress again is we only have a couple more minutes with you, Jamie, is this thought of prevention in healthcare, right? And that, you know, making sure that people don't, like, I guess, right, to go get treated, uh, so to speak. How does the FIT Project help you guys achieve that goal? Yeah, uh, you know, we talked earlier about the 80% opportunity, the idea yeah. that 80% of heart disease risk is secondary to what we do, the choices that we make and how we access the healthcare system. So if we're able to provide these resources around nutrition, around exercise, around wellness for free, uh, it's a win-win for everybody. 
because your family wins because you're getting healthier and spending time together. The health system wins because more of us are healthier and our community wins uh, as a result. So I, I think that it's just uh, uh, no reason not to go online, thefitproject.org, check it out, sign yourselves up, and we really want to meet you. And the other side of it, the growth that you mentioned and the word free that you mentioned, the program relies on donations, right? How essential are donations uh, from people that, that are watching tonight uh, to, to help you guys grow this program? That's right. It, it, it's, it's a key part of any program like this to be able to offer it to as many people as possible. So uh, donations, community support, community investment are all a key, key part of that. So we really, really appreciate everybody's support. Dr. Beckerman, we appreciate the work that you and the FIT Project are doing and thank you for joining us tonight. And to everybody watching, again, we stress Please bid, buy, and give providencefoundations.org slash live. Text HEART to 47177. You can bid in the online auction for the incredible packages that are up for bid. You can buy the Stay a Scarf Apart limited edition scarf that we showed, showed you earlier for $39. Raffle tickets to win exclusive Timbers and Thorns experiences or a, a Alaska Airlines round trip ticket wherever you want to go. $25 for those raffle tickets or just give. Make a donation today to help providing the life-changing support to families across Oregon and support the Providence Heart Institute and the FIT Project. As you do that, as you go online, as you text in to bid, buy, and give, we're going to take one last break, and we'll be back live from Providence Park. Join Providence Health Plan in a community of supporters who power prevention and wellness programs in Oregon. Providence Health Plan wants you to discover true health. Thank you, Providence Health Plan, for your enthusiastic support of the Providence Heart Institute and other Providence programs. I've really noticed people's health take off when they get into supportive housing and they get a job that's meaningful and matters to them. Providence Health Plan funds the staff and the services that are required to help end those fundamental drivers of homelessness. Community is strength. For over 160 years, we've raised the standard of care in our community because the healthier each of us are the healthier we all are. Discover true health. Because heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States, Greg and Roxanne Specht are very pleased to be able to support the ongoing efforts of the Providence Heart Institute and their programs for cardiac care, cardiac prevention and wellness, and cardiac research and innovation. Thank you. It's our final Fit Focus moment of the night. Now more than ever, we're all facing extra stress, whether it's working from home, managing virtual school, or other life stressors, there's a lot on our minds. Help reduce stress by getting enough sleep, going for a walk, exercising, or just taking some time for yourself. And remember, it's okay to ask for help. Be fit focused. Well, as we wrap up live from Providence Park, we wanna again implore you to bid, to buy, to give, to text HEART to 47177, to go online to providencefoundations.org slash live. The auctions and the raffle, they're open until 6 p.m. tomorrow, so you've got about 23 hours left for some of these awesome prizes. Nat, you've got a Timbers jersey. I know it's gonna be part of a package signed right there. Yeah, so cool. I mean, just imagine if you're a Timbers fan out there, just getting, the, uh, just getting something like this for winning a raffle. I think it's fantastic from the 2020 team, uh, all the autographs from all the players, so much fun. And supporting such a good cause. I know it's been inspiring for me to be involved in that in, in this program and to hear about wellness and everybody and, and the good that this program does. I think it's fantastic. You know, if you have a family, just being able to have a place to take the family, uh, to be active, to get ideas about how to be active, uh, help from a nutrition standpoint. I think it, it's all great, you know, for your, your health and for the health of all of us in the community. One final time, we want to employ you to bid, to buy, and to give by texting HEART to 47177 and going online. We want to thank our sponsors, of course, Portland Timbers and Portland Thorns FC for their support of this broadcast and all of our, spo our sponsors as well uh, for putting together and helping us put together what will be a very impactful evening. We have been live from Providence Park, all in support of the Providence Heart Institute. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for your support. Stay safe and good night.